Right now, I've got a question for you. Are you happy? What's up, my friend? I hope you're doing well today. I've been studying what happiness is and what is it all about. What is it, how do we get it, and who's got it and who doesn't, and why? I invite you to take a moment to explore this idea. Let's go. All right, so here we are in the beautiful Centro Ybor City. I'm Antoine Towner, I hope you're having a great day today. I wanna to do this video for you real quick to talk about the idea of happiness. So what is that for you? Have you ever been near homeless and then thought, if I just get an apartment or get a roommate, I'd be happy? Have you ever been broke and then you got some money and you said, once I get the money, I'll be happy. You got the money, you found out that that's not what brought you the joy. Have you ever been single for too long, lonely and upset? and thought once I fall in love or I get a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, then I will be happy. And as soon as you get it, you find out that's not the thing that brings you the joy. That's not the thing that brings you the happiness. So what is happiness? What is it exactly? I think in part, each of us define happiness as something slightly different. So define it for yourself, my friend, and you'll be well on your way. So one of the things I've noticed when it comes to happiness is it's not always what you get in life It's what you do with what you've got It's how you use what you already have to keep on moving and to keep moving forward You see happiness is not about the things that you get It's about what you do with what you got being content with what you have and enjoying the journey my friend It's crazy that it was just yesterday that I was in a wealthy neighborhood And I started thinking all these people around here must be happy because it looks like there's lots of money in this neighborhood Everyone looks well fed and everyone's having a good time and as I started walking through this little area of restaurants, um, I saw a man who was homeless. He was laying there on a bench. And I thought to myself, what is the difference between him and everyone else here? You see, everyone else here looks well taken care of, but this man isn't even taking care of himself. Or maybe he wasn't able to take care of himself. What is a differentiating factor? What is it about people that makes a decision for them to give up or to just accept what they've got in a negative way versus accepting what they got and being content in a positive way? What is the determining factor? What is the difference between that? I think when we can differentiate those two different things of giving up and being content, meaning happy in the moment, whether or not I have or don't have, we can really start to get a clearer vision of what happiness is. I remember it being just a block away where I was nearly homeless performing on the streets to try to make a living, to try to make something of myself. You see, when I got here from Portland, Oregon, I didn't exactly have a job. I had to go out and get it. I had to get on the street corner, pull out a deck of cards and start performing for anybody that would stop and see me. I thought that as long as I could do what I'm doing and do what I love to do, then happiness would come. Unfortunately, I found out that that's not exactly true. What I also found out is that as long as I was on my journey of doing what I wanted to do, I felt happier. Even though I hadn't attained happiness exactly, I was on my way, and that was the point. I remember being in New York City, watching people dine outside, just enjoying themselves, and I was, you know, nearly homeless at that point, making my money on the street wherever I could, and I always think to myself, man, I can't wait to the day where I have enough money that I can sit in a restaurant like that and really enjoy myself like these people are. Finally, I end up being able to do that and yet again, the illusion was persistent. It wasn't that that made me happy. It wasn't the food, it wasn't the drinks, it was something else. Another thing that I used to think is that when I got to a certain dollar amount in life, I would be happy. Well, I set big goals, I worked really, really hard, and I ended up getting to those financial goals eventually. The strange thing was, when I got to those financial goals, I wasn't exactly happy. I did it over and over again, climbing the goal, climbing the goal, making sure it got higher and higher, bigger mountain to climb. As I climbed that mountain, I learned a lot along the way. Information, wisdom, understanding that I can still bring with me to this day. And to me, that's worth more than the money itself. Another thing that might be helpful for you in your way to happiness, finding your path to joy, is actually writing down the things that make you happy. The things that you think make you happy. Make a list of them and study that list and find out over your lifetime the things that you have attained. Did they bring you joy? Did they bring you happiness? Did they bring you peace? Did they bring you contentment? If not, make a new list. Make a bigger list. Make a list of gratitude and a list of thanks and that will also be very very helpful on your path to happiness as it has in mine. Also it's important to understand that happiness is something different for each person. You have to define what your happiness is based on what you like not based on comparing your life to what other people have and what other people are doing with their life. Where I'm from in Portland, Oregon it rains every single day. The sky looks like this just about every single day. 
I still remember to this day leaving Portland, Oregon, coming to Tampa, Florida, thinking as soon as I get to Tampa, Florida, I'll be under the palm trees and all the great weather. My life will be happier at that moment. Well, when I finally moved here, I figured out that that is not exactly true. Yes, I had a lot more opportunity here in Florida, and it's been a great journey for me so far, but that's the point of it is I've enjoyed the journey. Not so much enjoyed just the move, but the actual journey itself, the growth from where I was to where I am now, and excited to see what's going to happen next. You see, a lot of times we have to look at our future and think about what are we going to grow into. You see, you're not the same person you were a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. You're not going to be in the same position uh, in 10 years or five years or even one year from now. You'd be surprised at what a difference a year can make. So keep your mind positive and that is going to lead you onto your journey to happiness. So definitely remember what Confucius was talking about when he said, wherever you go, there you are. Especially if you're a person that's looking for happiness in your travels and the places that you go. Enjoy the journey. Don't just think about where you're going as a destination. You see, the destination can be a gift, but also the journey itself is the gift. So can you imagine that? trying to find happiness, moving all the way across the country, 3,000 miles, and you get to the place and you become homeless instead. And as you're homeless, you figure out a way to not become homeless, right? And then you find a way to follow your dream and live your, your dream and follow your goal, right? While making money doing it traveling around to so many different interesting places meeting so many different interesting people basically doing it basically living it and you find out at that moment that it didn't bring you happiness it didn't bring you joy in the way that you thought it was going to so what do you do you start taking up a hobby like I did I took up uh, photography actually and that's what got me to New York City anyway but as I got there I find out that as I start living my dream following my goal up there I still wasn't exactly what you would call happy by definition, right? And uh, so I had to start figuring some other things out. Start asking myself, questioning myself, what is happiness? Who is it for? Who gets it? Who doesn't get it? Is it the people that follow their dreams? Are those the ones that get happiness? Is it the ones that make all the money that they expect to make? Are those the happy ones? Or is it the ones that have the love life that they've been always looking for? I remember being single for so long, wondering, why doesn't anybody love me? Or at least uh, as I dated, I didn't feel loved by the girls that I was dating, right? Being cheated on, I know that sense of loss, right? That sense of uh, losing investment in my time and energy, money, effort, and they basically uh, throw it in the trash. I know what that's like, right? And then I, I longed to be in a relationship. I longed to be in love again. And when I finally got that again, uh, the thing about it is it didn't bring me any fulfillment, it didn't bring me any joy. So what is it? What's the determining factor? One of the things I figured out is it's gratitude. If I have gratitude for what I've got already, I'm actually one step closer to happiness. If I can make a list of two or three or four things, or maybe even a page of things that I have gratitude for, then I tend to be happier. If I can make a list of things that I appreciate about my life, the way that it is right now and just take a deep breath in that moment I find out that I'm happier and I found out that other people that are doing this through meditation and yoga and just uh, you know practices of patience and peace uh, different exercises that bring them joy actually are the happiest people on earth it's not the ones that have a million dollars it's not the one that have the mansion or the the love life of their dreams that they think is going to bring them joy you see it's not the external that brings us joy it's internal what's in our mind what's in our heart that generally brings us joy and happiness. Um, that's worked for me, and I hope that you can take some exercises today to figure out what that is for you, my friend. So the strangest thing about today's video is that just about everything that could go wrong went wrong. I'm one of those type of people that need to feel accomplished in order to feel a bit of happiness, and one of the things about that is just getting things done. And today, it wasn't just the weather, it was the equipment, and then forgetting things, and then just things malfunctioning, and having to reset, and having to restart. Everything in life is going to be a hurdle. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. And that's what we got to get used to when we're on our way to happiness. We need to find a way to be satisfied inside of ourselves first before we go out to tackle the day and accomplish our goals. A lot of times life isn't even about the destination and the actual accomplishment. Sometimes it's just about the journey of getting it done and feeling accomplished in that and to feel happy in that and to feel, you know, sort of settled in that. I think it was Goggins that was talking about uh, just getting up and making your bed every day. Just that simple feeling of getting something accomplished uh, maybe may start the day in a way that's just much more positive than that otherwise could end up. Sometimes to get to happiness, you just got to get your day going in the right direction. Think about one or two or three things that you can do tomorrow morning to get your day going in the right direction and see how you feel then, my friend. Maybe you might be a more goal-oriented person 
Have you ever had a friend of yours or somebody, maybe a boss or somebody you work with say they're going to do something for you, maybe a favor, get something done, and they don't do it when they said they would do it? They didn't get the job done on time or they never came through with the product or service they said they would do for you and that was the determining factor of why you were upset and why you're angry and why you're not to the point of happiness. Isn't it important to identify what makes us angry, what makes us upset so that we can find our point of happiness? It's definitely worth contemplating, definitely worth thinking about. What is it that you can identify that makes you angry, that makes you upset, that takes you away from your joy? So as a magician, I've been one of the lucky people in this world that gets to make a living doing what I love and I get to travel around the world and see a lot of things and do a lot of things with a lot of cool people. I wanted to bring this moment up right now because wherever you go, there you are. So leaving Oregon, going to Florida, from Florida to New York and then back to Florida, I was looking for a piece of happiness that I could really never find because it wasn't something on the outside that was bringing me the joy. It was actually what was inside of me that was going to ultimately find the peace and find the contentment, find the happiness within myself. And I think that's what we all have to do a little bit, is sit back, be thankful, be grateful, and find the joy within us. Your happiness is going to come from your own definition, and that is going to be the best advice I can give. If you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe let your friends know it will really help me out a lot peace thank you for watching be sure to share and subscribe antoinecounter.com